back in tech dev studio and in this video you are going to learn about how you can basically set up a mobile project in unreal engine 4.27.2 we are going to learn all the necessary step that we need to do for a mobile so the first thing i'm demonstrating in unreal engine 4.27.2 then simply i'm selecting a blank project even you can select any of third person or any other first person or any type of template S simply click on next at here the main question is in the blueprint first that is blueprint or c++ it's on you the if you code all of your project in c++ your game can going to be a super optimized okay but if you are also using blueprint code there's a no issue okay but make sure the blueprint is some heavy for android mobile the second let me give you some quick tri uh, tips that lots of you ask me that bro if you use the blueprint are we not able to do our c++ code in our project no you can use even c++ pro, uh, classes and you can write code in c++ and you can create any c++ actor in your blueprint project even lots of uh, uh, you always comment me that bro if we choose a c++ project then if we are not able to do code in blueprint no guys you, if you even choose c plus plus you also able to code in blueprint so there's a no issue that you are using c plus plus or blueprint but make sure c plus plus is more efficient the second thing is the maximum quality or scalable if you are choosing uh, choosing a mobile project then or you are targeting your game for mobile i prefer that set to scalable 3d or 2d it will be give you the less sharpness but it your game going to be super more optimized than the maximum quality and the mobile doesn't support ray tracing so you need to disable the fourth is the mobile tab make sure by default it's an over uh, desktop and wind console you need to choose that for mobile and tablet it's make sure by pressing mobile you are basically uh, giving permission to export your game for html android ios tablet and any other mobile tab platform the last is basically a starter content this starter content basically give you some asset kind of like material texture and etc stuff it's on you you want to include or not then simply just rename your project i'm going to rename my project to 4.27 slash or dash 2 simply create a project if you're doing first time it's going to be compiled shader it depends on your engine and also in your pc configuration once you have your project something like this your first step is you need to go to project setting and scroll down and here you find the windows tab select here that is in your default array it should be in a default and the compiler type is if in by default i recommend to use if you are using uh unreal engine 4 you should use a visual set 2017 or 2019 but if you are also using 2020-22 there's a no issue the second thing you need to do in in your android oh sorry you need to do in your render settings at the render settings or in the packaging settings here you find some couple of option at here you can press the show advance and scroll down at here you need to basically include your all of me maps so there's some question let me give you some more tips and tricks that lots of you ask me that bro if i have multiple maps for example level one and level two so how i can say my unreal engine or how can i basically give permission that i also want want this map because in by default in project settings if you go to maps and modes we can only able to add only one map at here so the best practice is you need to go to packaging and once you create your map at here on the show advanced list at the list of map including the package will make some arrays and here you need to just pick up your map something like this so underlying you will be make sure that your these files will be always export when you are basically exporting your game the third step is you need to go to basically your edit slash edit preferences and here you can search that MULTI or even you can search that light but however by searching MU you also find this that enable multi threads light map encoding enable multi threads shadow map encoding so what will be give you this feature that it will basically boost up your light big data and make sure 
also because it's using super uh, all the threads and multi threads of your processor your processor can be used uh, like 90 to 100 percent so make sure you need to be prepared for that once you do that at the plugins if you are not using any type of uh, stuff for example i'm not using any vr so even i search vr you will see that there's some vr component is enabled at your like the quest vr open xr steam vr so we need to set it to disable because we don't need even but make sure in the last test unreal engine version from the 5 this automatically unnecessary is automatically uh, has disabled so you don't need to do at unreal engine 5 versions but if you are using some older kind of like 4 category or in the unreal engine 4 versions and type of at then you need to do something manually like this also i'm not using any for ios so i'm can i can basically disable this thing so make sure by disabling these unnecessary plugins you are basically able to get more light package and more unnecessary stuff so it will be basically help you to bake and build your game really really very fast the second is uh, at the maps and modes you can pick any type of map whatever you want okay it's on you once you did this the last step is if you want to check that are your uh, like some of cases lots of you ask me that bro we are not getting this kind of like shadow quality and also uh, whatever we are seeing in our editor we are not seeing the same in our android okay so for getting the android simulation the first please restart your engine because it's going to be changed from your configuration so i'm going to change it to with uh, l1 and now if you're doing first time make sure it will be compile shader if you already have so it will be never compile shader now as i said that uh, for checking or getting the same re result as in editor at least to it 70 to 80 percent you need to press through settings and go to in the, uh, the preview render at here you can choose to android estc 3.1 it's basically going to change your engine configuration and it will be give you as much as possible like the android shader and all the necessary android stuff in your editor and runtime editor with that you are basically able to check that or basically you can watch that okay all the matrix is rendering or not or if there's any material coming black and white it's mean that it's not compiling or it's not working in the estc one you need to do or fix it by manually and then you are basically able to do so that is enough and that's all for setting a android mobile project in unreal engine there's a no more anything you need to do but make sure always try to uh, make your game as optimized as possible always try to use optimized asset and texture resolution and texture and also try to make your scene lighter because it's an android that's why or android mobile so i hope you understand so thank you so much for watching guys love you all see you in next tutorial video in next tutorial video we'll be fine about the setup in the sdk and dk jdk for unreal engine 4.27.2 so just wait for that